his whole life has kind of been the pursuit of spiting and distancing himself from his family. I'll take it. I love it. He doesn't want to marry you necessarily. How do you know? Don't act like, oh, you have some special connection with Moses. Like, I know more than you do about everything. Sometimes I worry about Moses. He doesn't even like cats. He's literally the best, most patient person in the whole world. He's oh like God. weird as fuck when you first meet him. Moses has done a terrible job of explaining his relationship as he always does. So. I don't think you guys are close as you think. Because you know people yeah. are like, he's using Trish for money. I get why he's distancing himself from everybody. <laughs> Moses doesn't like you and you guys don't like him. But, but it's true. And then you're denying it, but she's saying it's true. And she yeah. keeps saying it and saying it and saying it. And then you're always saying, oh, she's just saying it for the show. It's like, well, that's fucking not true. Did you I, know this motherfucker could buy a nine carat diamond ring? He's your fucking family. Like, we should talk about it. I it's don't have a mo problem with Moses. Problem. Who is this person? Like, I don't even know who this person is. Who are you? I personally believe that you either love everyone or hate everyone. There's no middle ground. I know it sounds too simple and it's hard to agree with too, I understand that. But when you truly see humanity for what it is, that we're all the same spirit in different bodies, that if I was born in your body, in your shoes, living your experiences, I would be you. I would do the actions you do. I would say the things you say, and they might be horrible actions, and they might be horrible words, but I am that person too. Every person you meet is another version of yourself. Every person you meet is another version of yourself. Pretty much since I remember myself, I was always drawing. So I was always drawing, doodling in class, you know, like when teachers would talk, I would have to draw if I wanted to be able to listen to them or to, you know, so it started very early on. And then, but people like it wasn't encouraged though, you know, teachers were like, you're not paying attention. So I always was drawing. And then in, um, I think around high school, I started taking some sculpture like classes so sculpting was the next thing I did. And then in high school, I studied photography. So that, that came from there, just the visual, you know, we used to VHS, make videos, fun stuff like that. And, um, and then in, the, in Israel, you do high school and then you go to the military. So you're like 18, mandatory, you don't have a choice. And you're very young, you're 18, you just got out of high school. So. You don't know much. I think if I was older, I would probably not join, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you kind of just, before you know it, you're in it. And once you're in it, it's hard to get out of it. And then you just count the days until it's over, basically. <laughs> and then when that was done, I kind of, you know, you kind of have to decide what you want to do with your life. So I figured that I, I want to go with what I know doing best and what comes easiest to me, and that's artwork. I went to study architecture. Because I figured it's still creative. It, it relates to making sculptures, but it's a bit more functional. So 21, I got out of the military. Then I worked 
to I saved money to go to college because I did everything on my own. I paid for everything since I was a teenager. I've been working full time. So I worked. Um, I went to college for a year. Then I didn't like that, so I quit and I worked for another year to save money. I mean, I saved money since I was a teenager and the money I saved, I used to move to America. So all that money went to move here. I went to a private college here so and I paid for it myself. So I had money to pay for the first year. And then um, the way I thought about it was if I'll do well enough, I'll get scholarships. If I'm not good enough, I'm just gonna go back home. So luckily I managed to get scholarships and continue studying here because I had no financial support whatsoever mm. and especially as an international student you don't get any support because I had no financial support whatsoever because I had no financial support whatsoever because I had no financial support whatsoever but if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head under my bed think you're something First of all, we're joined today by Trisha Paytas, who uh, we are happy to welcome back. And the reason that Trisha is joining us today is we thought Trisha Paytas. Now that's the next season of The Bachelorette. <laughs> that has to be. That could be really awful. So Trisha's here to basically introduce. No, it will not. It will be incredible. I'm gonna ruin like all these people's lives. Such as one what guy, like multiple guys. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? How would you ruin out someone? Got some guy's life? I don't know. Uh, what's your dream occupation? For them? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think you'd have to be like a billionaire CEO or no occupation. Or just a <laughs> fucking deadbeat. Yeah, like an So why don't you want someone who's just gonna be a t totally dependent on you? So anyone who's thinking about applying, quit your job. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. We have a. We're gonna have a lot of applicants. <laughs> You're saying, tiny dick, any size. <laughs> No job. This is going to be great. I, I do like a guy that's like super rich too. I, I don't want in between is what I'm saying. I don't like mediocre or anything. Okay. Okay. There you go. One have extreme it. or the other. So you have to be extraordinary shitty human being. <laughs> no prospects. Or uh, yeah. Tony Stark. Right. Uh, personality. What's your ideal personality? Um, funny. Funny. Mm -hmm. I like a funny guy. So if you're not funny, if you don't have a good sense of humor, don't, don't get it. Yeah. If you're a serious person. I don't think a ser many serious people would be interested in you to begin with. No, I don't think so either. Well, not a lot of people are interested in me, period, to begin with, so it might be hard. I'm scared no one's going to apply. I think we've got a good overview of Trisha Paytas. Mm -hmm. I think that we're, our target demo is probably going to be more along the lines of, uh, of jobless <laughs> dependents. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah, I uh, thought, I don't know if I can say this, and you can cut it if I'm not supposed to say this, but I was li like low-key hoping, because originally I was pitched the idea to come on as a contestant, and Ela's brother's going to be The Bachelor, and Ela's brother's going to be The Bachelor, and Ela's brother's going to be The Bachelor, and then I thought maybe he would apply to be on my Bachelor. He was supposed it. to. I don't and know what, what happened. happened. He I said that he Instagram, wanted to so apply. I found his Instagram. It's fine. We could take a last-minute su uh, submission. I don't he know said he, he wanted to. I think he's, he's honestly super busy. He's like a fucking mega... Hard work. He's like a. He should make time though, right? He should make, should time. make time. He looked so hot. I was like low key impressed. I was like, holy shit. Let we'll make he like he's he, like, like holy shit. Let we'll make he like he's he, like strikingly hot. Okay, we'll make sure he gets in. We'll take a last minute. Is he from Israel? Mm hmm. But he lives here. In L. A. Super successful. Long hair. I love it. I looped him up. You get a chance to fuck <laughs> Jesus. That's what he looks like. Oh, and he's Jewish. He's yeah. Okay, we'll make sure we get. Ah, uh, he's so hot. <laughs> if not, we can just. Off we'll make sure we get. Ah, uh, 
<laughs> he's so hot. If not, we can just also hook up. We don't have to date. Oh my god. <laughs> <brother fuck. laughs> Ooh, that'd be fun. I don't. Th oh my Let's god. not have him as a contestant. Let's just meet. No, no, no. He's got to come through this. No, show. why? Because then it's like a I'm same. DM him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he's gonna tell us. <laughs> you can't. You guys can't get past us. <laughs> If we fuck, he's gonna tell you. I don't think so. Yeah, he will. Ooh, I love that. Now I really. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, so we have six strong contestants. We're possibly seventh with Ela's brother. <laughs> We're gonna get a last minute. Does uh, your brother think I'm hot though? Have, he like was down. Well, he knew, I don't talk to him about. But he knew. It was no, he wanted. Hot. Yeah, he wanted to apply. He wanted to apply though. He did tell us he was going to. Like in a serious way. Yes. Wow. Why haven't you just hooked it up then? Why did we have to do all this? Why didn't you just be like, oh, like Ela's brother wants to see you? I'd be like, yes. He doesn't want to marry you necessarily. How do you know? Oh, because he's Jewish. Well, I don't know. No. All right, come on. Well, come on. I Let's don't move. Know. I really don't know. So, I know that he said that he was going to apply. Actually. We're gonna. How old is that's he? all I know. That's all I know. He is older. older. He's 10 over years old. forty, right? He's forty. Shut up. <laughs> Literally my type, and he looks so good. Like I. Look he really definitely funny. doesn't look forty two. Holy fucking shit! We'll make sure we get his application. <laughs> in, okay? Now I am drenched, so you might smell oh, it. Oh, stop! <laughs> Are you really? But why? You, we just were talking about I, it. I was but you're late. Oh my god! And first of all, it's cross. I have a giant. No, but on. I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> there's nothing. There's, there's so much. It smells like sardines <laughs> in here. No, it's so <laughs> fucked. Talk to me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so all right. All right. Well, we. I'm excited. I'm well, yeah, excited this is excited. We'll get we'll get Moses in here too. <laughs> now, Moses. That's oh. his name. Yeah. Fuck that name. That's crazy. Okay. Better so, fucking Moses. Holy shit. And he looks like Jesus. <laughs> the hell of a thing. <laughs> I really have to vent. You guys have been following The Bachelor. Oh, Trisha Paytas was our next Bachelorette. And then we have your brother, who uh, was going to be The Bachelor before Trisha Paytas. And then we have your brother, who uh, was going to be The Bachelor before Trisha Paytas. Mm -hmm. and, and I told him the same thing. I said, if you're going to be involved, no shenanigans. No wild card, no DM, no bullshit. You mm -hmm. have to tell us everything. And he swore. He said, it's all about the show. It's all about making the show better. Mm -hmm. He said, it's all about the show. It's all about making the show better. Mm -hmm. And so last time, Trisha goes at the end, you know, I was really hoping that Moses, Elo's brother, was going to apply. Okay. Okay. And we said, yeah. Um, we thought he was too. Because he mentioned to us. He wanted to do it as a goof. That's what I thought, if I'm being honest, just to spice up the shit. Right. He but. wanted to apply, though. He did tell us he was going to. Like in a serious way? Yes. Wow. Why haven't you just hooked it up then? Why didn't we... But now, they've been talking in the DMs, apparently, because Trisha in the last episode was like, I really thought he was going to apply. I like him. I found his Instagram. It's fine. I'll just... We look. could take a oh, same... DM him. Matter. Your brother, Nothing. first of all, I have to I have to tell you that I don't know what he's up to. Right. And I'm I don't not, know. This anything. isn't some inside joke. Like, no. look at the way he's looking at. The, so this is what Trisha posted. Look at his face. What is he doing? It's, it's like he's he's like he's uh, goofing on us. Because he mentioned to us. He that. wanted to do it as a goof. That's what I thought, if I'm being honest, just to spice up the shit. Right. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? And by the way, I go, well, obviously, I immediately go to Moses and I'm like, dude, what's, what the F is this? And he's so cryptic. Now, all of a sudden, he's not telling me what's up. Yeah. He's being super cryptic. I'm most disappointed in your brother. Trisha, whatever. You, uh, we, she, you know, we serve at her pleasure. I mean, you don't know which, ver which personality is showing up <laughs> on which day. I'm just happy when she comes in. <laughs> Trisha, she's not... She's not conniving. She just wants to fuck Moses. So is Moses playing Trisha and us? Mm -hmm. In some weird... Mm -hmm. What's what's he trying to get at? I will sabotage his relationship. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> because you both fucked us. I don't give a shit right now. By the way, Moses, if you go back to the first photo, 
where Moses is grinning into I, the camera. He's the one holding the photo. phone. He's the one holding the phone. He is complicit in all of this. He can't ever say this ran away from him because he took this photo. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he said he was just going to get involved as a goof. Who ruined it? Was it Trisha or Moses? I personally blame Moses. I think it's a group effort. I think Moses is putting her up to it, too. I think they think it's funny. Moment of having Korean fries with you. Who's your favorite person in the whole world right now? You know, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> you hate everyone the same. I love everyone. <laughs> you don't believe in hate? No. You either love everyone or you hate everyone. There's no need to cry. I hate some people. So you hate everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna hate you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> people swear us that I hate him. I like the philosophy behind it. It's not- Right. It's like philosophy. You gotta check out Channel Water. Even doing this right now. You hate it? He was unsure of it. I was like, oh no. He's like, I just don't want any drama. I'm like, there's no drama. We're just, we're just who we are, who we are. Yeah, but it's just being like endless, endless. I'm like, I think it's the same people. It's like the same like three people I feel that make like new accounts. <laughs> I don't think it's that many people here. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's more. I think because we're in quarantine. <laughs> it's everything so, so intense. quarantine is like an echo chamber. Mm-hmm. And whatever we enter the quarantine with, that's how people have. And we enter the quarantine together. So, so. we enter <laughs> that quarantine <laughs> with that whole drama. And then that's it. Like that drama just bounces off back and forth. No yeah. drama here. I mean, I'm shocked that people have the time to be analyzing, <laughs> making up oh, stories. Did, um, that's quite amazing. <laughs> I'm always and amuses you? No, I'm like, I, I, I would hope that I would have more, I would be more passionate about something in life than stalking Maybe. people they don't know online. You know what I mean? It's like, it's honestly not that different than if you watch a movie and you think the actors are real. Like if you meet them on the street, you're like, <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did that in that movie. Some people, yeah. But like, oh my God, are we acting? I'm a, did I pay you to be here? I'm a, did I pay you to be here? I saw that one, so someone said I paid you to be here. <laughs> I have my own money. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're bougie. <laughs> so on property, so I was like, oh, damn. That'd be funny. <laughs> when I saw that, I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that, I guess that's a compliment to you. You're like a boy toy then, if I'm like paying you to be here. You can't afford me. <laughs> you think? <laughs> And that is true. Trisha and Moses, Ela's brother and Trisha Paytas, the saga continues. Oh, Who's yeah. Your, your brother, I have to say, he's so unforthcoming with us that it's, it's irking me. It really is irking me because he always goes... He goes, oh, it was just, you know, it was the quarantine and my place got broken into and I didn't have anyone to stay with. And I was like, okay. But I know your, but I know your brother's not like that. Your brother's like self-sufficient. He can, he's, he's not like, oh, I need to, can I stay with you? My place got broken into, you know, he, and then he goes, it's over. And I'm not, it's not even that I'm upset that they're together. I just want him to tell me what's happening. Mm Mm-hmm. So then he, I think he thinks that like I don't want him to be with her or something, and that's not. I just want him to tell me the truth. Um, and then he told us that it was over, and then she still posted a picture with him. Here, why do you have to post pics on Twitter? Just keep it private. Why do you have to post pictures on Twitter? Just keep it private. Private. Here she is with Moses. Yeah. This is from March thirty first. Theodore's aunt is the top comment. <laughs> We talk to Eli's brother like all the time. He's over our house like every weekend. Yeah, I, I knew Except that. Except now so, because of the quarantine, yeah. he's not. So. so that's his new family. 
Well, listen, I love your brother. But, I love Moses. Yeah, He's a great I mean, guy. He's done a lot for us. I don't know. I don't, I'm just going to bite my tongue, I guess. I have a lot to say. I'm not going to. <laughs> But he has his own channel, and if this is helping him also like reach new audience, then I'm happy for him. That's channel cool. Water. That's the name yep. of his channel. This is our third time back together. <laughs> well, not that we're together. We're not apart. We're not apart. And what's today's date? August 1st. Oh, August 1st, you're not DMing anybody. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not on Bumble anymore. The most impressive thing I think I've seen you do so far is... <laughs> what? I don't know how to share this story without saying like the full context, but you literally scaled a fence that could not be climbed. It was like a vertical fence, like one of those vertical ones like that. And all of a sudden, it's so tall. All of a sudden, I see you like scale it like you're a freaking Spider-Man. So you literally went over because like basically his keys got like on the other side of the fence and he like jump over it. Any way to say it? Okay, well, you know. You know, I have one of those keys to just throw themselves. <laughs> it's a game we play. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a <the> game <laughs> you're gonna stop playing. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, you or me? Um, you, because I won't hit you. Aww. Okay, well, but you'll win the fight, but I'll win the war. He said he broke up with you because you started, like, punching him. He's shaking his head no. Oh, okay. Y you said I could say everything. I did not punch him! You said that's why you broke up with me because I punched you? <laughs> I went like this. Okay. And he's frail. Who would run in a fight, you or me? Um... You because I want to hit you. Aww. But I did not punch him. It wasn't. Can I? Okay. If you want to. You, fine. If you're going to fucking. If you're leaving this, then I'm going to have to say the whole fucking story. Because what happened was. Uh, is. I had physically like hit Moses in the arm out of a rage in a fight. Oh, really early on in a relationship. Actually, we weren't even dating yet. We were like upstairs and I took his phone. I saw like other DMs to girls. Actually, we weren't even dating yet. He like. Tackle, not tackle me, but like we went to the floor, and so then I like punched back, but I never punched him. I was like, hey, you piece of shit. Like, I wasn't like that. I had physically like hit Moses in the arm out of a rage in a fight. You guys had a like, tussle? He had a bruises, so of course he's like, oh my god, like, look. Well, then I took his keys, and so he was trying to get the keys back. You literally scaled a fence that could not be climbed, it was like a vertical fence. What did I see? Like, scale it like you're a freaking spider-man so he literally went over because like basically his keys got like on the other side of the fence and he like jump over it anyway just say it okay well you know you know i have one of those keys to just throw themselves <laughs> it's a game we play no yeah and also we weren't dating so i don't know why he said we, he broke up with me because of that we weren't no dating. He, he said he called it off after it got after the tussle i guess it wasn't abuse oh my god it wasn't like i punched him and like you Look, I, I, I had physically like hit Moses in the arm out of a rage in a fight. My boyfriend got catfished by someone, said something about an altercation we had that nobody knew. Ethan brought it up on the podcast that makes me look like I'm a domestic abuse, like I'm a, I'm a person that hits my partner. And oh. like that was uh. out in the open and we even said, Moses like stop, cut it. We're like, don't put that in the thing. What does he do? He puts it in the fucking thing. Wait, it was never cry it was never fucking public. Well maybe you shouldn't hit him. Dad. Dad. Okay. But you're not a dad. Or you're a dad now. I am. I have four kittens. Oh, you both sent your message from me. That's the only text message I get from your kittens of your video video of your kittens. Specifically, Ela texted him about something and said, is this true? She's making Moses get rid of his cats. And you're like, oh my God, is this true? I could hate on people that like kittens. I don't get kittens. That's another reason why we're so opposite. I was like, what the fuck? Moses is 42. He doesn't even like cats. They're so cute. I mean... Moses Happy doesn't want his cats? Moses? So he'll keep them at the museum and not the house. Thank you.
I'm allergic to cats, but... Then why do you have five of them? Well, there was a stray cat, <laughs> and then she suddenly showed up pregnant. We saw a comment that said, Trisha's making Moses get rid of his cat. <laughs> do you think I have that power? What do you think I control him? But I think the key is to not care about what's in each other's DMs. No, because he was always like, I talk to no girls. I never talk to girls that way. All of a sudden, fuck you, wanna cuddle <laughs> you, this could be you, this little fucking kitten in my arms. Be you, this little fucking kitten in my arms. I could hate on people that like kittens. I don't get kittens. It's another reason why we're so opposite. Now, if I meet a hateful person and my response to them is with hate, I just mirror them. I'm just another hateful person in the equation. And that's what hate does. Hate is like a disease. It just finds its way into another person's soul and another person, and there's no escape from that. So the really important part is when you meet a hateful person, you don't want to love the hate that's in them. You don't want to embody the hate that's in them. You don't want to encourage the hate that's in them. When you show love, you are talking to the love that is in them. And it might work and it might not work. Either way, you came out of that situation and equation intact with your grace and your love rather than taking on their spirit, taking on their hate. And now you're not different from them. Oh my god you guys are crazy. this is awful know. this is why i should have done it the podcast because honestly it's just the first episode <laughs> well good thing i'm not gonna share anymore we're both not sharing any more personal details with you yes you will nope nope so that's what i'm worried Boy about moses is that she's got a rolodex of all this shit on you <laughs> when's the last time you were drunk at 2 a.m <laughs> never never I'm, I'm actually never drunk so yeah. you've never been drunk no He only teases me when he's drunk. I think only because you were drunk did I learn those words. College. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. We should do a drunk one when you're drunk next time. You are so funny. They're out. Someone found him on Hinge that night. Someone found him on Hinge, and I was like, let me see your DMs, and he logged me out that night. And then, and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking life. Wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> should we bring up? Should we bring up the text messages? But, but wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! Ruin your fucking gone life. Shit has wrong, and I don't expose stuff I know. Like he's doing all these texts. Oh, here's my boob shot. That's what he texted a girl. This, he was. This is what he sent her. This is what she does. She's all day on those messages. <laughs> she obsessed with those messages. Like. Well, it, yes, she did. No, I didn't. How about these ones? I like you, everything about you. I want to kiss every inch of your body. Hold on, I hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't need to humiliate. You don't need to humiliate. Why? He did it to me. Well, you did accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not. We've well, that was kind of fucked up. No, we. She sent you a text saying that I go with underage girls. That was no, not inappropriate true. age girls, yes, not did. underage. No, no, oh you my said god. Underage. He read it. Well, here he, you said he talks to underage girls. No. Right there, he talks to underage girls. Weird. Where I, I literally don't see. Right it. there, he talks to underage girls. Confirm that it says what that. that was. Yes, I can and go back to that if you want to go back. Then he read it here. But I think, but I think. It's out to the world. You said, read this part. He said, it says, this he talks to underage girls. You said, he stalks to underage girls. I don't expect a response. And again, I uh, I don't want to talk to you again, but he's just a fraud and he's scary. You said, he talked so much trash about me and made fun of my body and then used me. He's scary and vile, needs help. Yes. I truly thought he liked me, but he played me. He always was bitter. You said he's a psychopath. I have 24 hour security now. So that's what I'm worried Boy about Moses is, is that she's got a Rolodex of all this shit on you. Yeah. Ethan, oh. she's Wait, can you let Chris guys talk? Wait, let, we were in that let break Ethan talk. Moses, stop. Stop. Wow. Moses, just stop. Hey. All right, Trisha. I have so much hate in me still, for, like hate for him, and it sucks because I don't want to be that way. Not necessarily hate, but like maybe resentment. Yeah. That's the same. Most swears that I hate him. I mean, the way I see it is that if you really love someone, you can forgive them. And if you forgive them, you forget. I forgive him, but I can't no, forget you it. You can't forget it, so you're not. No. Moses is. Well, I like You can either love everyone or hate everyone. There's no in between. I'm like, that's no, not true. I, I hate certain people. I disagree. 
I mean, I'm paranoid mm. of everything for sure. I think Moses is trying to murder poison me. I think Moses is trying to murder poison me. Trisha, people with borderline disorders tend to be very attracted to sociopaths. Sociopaths to them. Huh? That's, it, it I believe it. I wonder if it's because the sociopath knows how to manipulate them and has no qualms doing it. Maybe. And and the borderline sort of believes it. I don't think I've ever had a more perfect, nice person in my life where it's almost like he's too fucking perfect and nice where I feel like this is not real. I'm like, what are you hiding? Oh, Moses is here. Just give it time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Because I'm I'm a very minimalist person. Like I, my joy in life is thinking. That's yeah. it. Like, give me the space to think about stuff, and I'm happy. So you guys have been That's dating. Mm -hmm. You guys are now living together. I mean, what the fuck? Is aren't you guys moving a little fast? Well, he has his museum still. He has a museum, so he like goes works there. But yeah, every night. You guys sleep together. You guys are together every night, and he's moved shit into your apartment. I mean, he has like five shirts, so <laughs> yes, but all five shirts are at my yeah, house. Yeah, five shirts. <laughs> but now he has. And now you too, guys are. So we wait. can like buy a house together, like a big fancy one, because he has like money. So <laughs> it's the first person I have like ever dated that has like money, and it's the first person I have like ever dated that has like money and good credit. Good credit. Yeah, he lives in the hood. He literally lives in the most ghetto place. Like, it's literally like dangerous to go where you live. I went once and I didn't know any better because it was dark, so <laughs> I didn't know where we were. No, but it's safe. It's... My place is safe. No. You literally had a break in there. Moses, can I just say, I was totally, when I first met him, I totally judged him. I'm like, oh my God, you live in like a shitty water museum. He like, owns the, it, though. Right, but he He's had this little, but he had no other space. He like lived there. So I was like, okay, why are you like living there? But then I was like, ew, you like, he didn't even have like a real shower. It was like a porta potty shower. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? And it was kind of ghetto. And then I was like judging him, but him in this like little tiny makeshift apartment in like this like building in like the ghetto. Cause you know, people yeah. are like, he's using Trish for money. Could you imagine if I had like, no offense, but if it was like a one carat for me, cause I have a big fat finger, it would have looked like crazy. I would have to have bought my own. Marriage would not work if he gave you a one carat dime. I'll tell you right now. Be like, he's broke, fuck him. Yeah. I know, I feel so bad. What do you feel bad about? It was his renovation money for his building. Ah, whatever, he doesn't care. He's got a brand new house. That's fuck, true. fuck his old building. Look at him, he's so happy. Look at that smell on his face. I don't have health insurance. I don't want people to like speculate. Just You don't have health insurance? Well, Moses, what? you're buying nine carat diamond rings no, and you don't have health insurance? I mean, what the fuck are you doing with do your life? I'm young and I'm healthy. Sorry. I know he has He's never had it. We're having all these cars together, so I'm like, we should probably get insurance, like driver's insurance, all on all the cars of everybody. I'm gonna probably maybe like get like a McLaren or something for him. A McLaren? Yeah, Bro, that's some sugar daddy shit right there. Are you patented? Um, no, because when you patent, oh. it's just a matter of putting the money into it. But no. Okay. <laughs> mm, not patented. Uh, mm. um, it was always a financial thing of like, do I want to invest that much money into the patent? That's why I think Moses hangs on. He knows I'm going to die at like 38. He's like, oh, then I'll get the house and the money. You think he's a gold digger? Compliment to you. You're like a boy toy dad if I'm like paying you to be here. You can't afford me. <laughs> you think? I Since the beginning of this pandemic, 400,000 small businesses have closed. Today, I'm announcing additional changes to the PPP program. In the last month, we've increased the share of funding for small businesses with fewer than 10 employees by nearly 60%. We officially, it's done, signed. We signed last night, we bought a house. Are you fucking <laughs> kidding me?
Are you fucking kidding me? You guys did that? Yeah, we got it last night. Well, congratulations. <laughs> but holy shit. But holy shit. Yeah. So you guys are... <laughs> you guys bought the house you were telling Both, me about? Yeah, and our names are on it. Do you want to... Oh, my God. Are you? I can't believe you guys got that house. It's I mean, insane. congratulations. Thank you. Like, you guys split the, the... 50%. 50%? He put just as much Way as to me. go, Moses. Right? I'm so proud of him. Like, I totally Did you need a him. loan for the down payment? Totally Did you need a him. loan for the down payment? No cash. No. Oh, my goodness. We both have the Moses, good I job. Know. No. Oh, my goodness. We both have the Moses, good I job. Know. You guys better save your money. You got a house now. One, Damn, one you're going to be fucking up. broke, Moses. You better be careful buying her ass all these diamonds. <laughs> what was this, like $10 million? I mean, I've never seen a diamond like that in my life. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, but, like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Like what? How many carrots is that? Nine. How can you? How, how can you? Who are you? Why are you buying nine <laughs> carat rings? I mean, what? Seriously? <laughs> it's a real again. diamond, or is it like a sarconium whatever? Did it's it a real again? diamond, or is it like a sarconium whatever? Nine carats, bro. Did you I, know this motherfucker could buy a nine carat diamond ring? He had plans like renovate his building. He had plans like renovate his building. And Not like, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry that you took your renovation <coughs> Holy money. Holy shit. But you know what it says to me? It says he's invested in our relationship. He put half for the house. He invested in this ring for me. And you get a mortgage <laughs> on your uh, on your place? It's a blood diamond? <laughs> Probably. The watchdogs are back. And we're going to go after the criminals who stole billions of relief money meant for small business and millions of Americans. Tonight, I'm announcing that the Justice Department will soon name a chief prosecutor for pandemic fraud. It's just like a, it really is the title of the show, Front of Me. It's just a very awkward vibe because we're not like friends. So it's very like, Okay, thanks. Bye. See you next week. I don't know. Yeah, I'm worried about the day you'll get, get along too much. <laughs> I, I hope that um should we be friends in real life i've always <laughs> considered our jousting as as friendly okay and uh i've i've always figured you probably think of i mean especially recently yeah when you make a video and i make a video then you, <laughs> it's fun and yeah. i was and i always get excited when you respond i'm like yeah baby <laughs> another podcast but now, now we're friends and now yeah, i like totally. you and Let's now you're just a cool person <laughs> i want to be friends Oh, I'm so excited. Let's not have a contestant. Let's just meet. No, no, no. He's got to come through this. No, why? Well, my friends, here we are. They said it would never happen. Me and Trisha making a podcast. You know, I just wanted to say before we get started. Oh, yeah. That I am so grateful to you. You're so funny and amazing. Thank you for doing the show. And I think you are so funny and talented. And you make the show so great. My brother-in-law and Trisha are engaged. is a great way to start the year. I love you both, and I'm just very happy and excited for the future that you guys hold. So, Aww, happy birthday, Trisha. We love you. Oh, that's so nice. I'm always willing to make it work, and there's nothing you can say or do or storm out or whatever it is that, that's going to make me abandon you. Okay. And I can tell you're so, you hate me so much right now, but I don't hate you. Well, I know. I like I, you still. Mm. My feelings didn't change for you. Well. You're not quitting this fucking show. You're still gonna let me on if I break if me and Moses break up? Yeah, what do I care? Oh. Shit. I mean, I'm glad you guys have given me, me multiple chances. Well, the one blow, I remember you texted me right after. It was really bad. And I remember being like, oh my God, why is he texting me? Because I thought we would never talk again. Like that last, one of the well, last blows we had. And oh, I was really? like, oh, I really messed it up this time. And then you're like, I hope you're okay. And I was like, oh my God. Like I was so, I, I was like, but I want to socialize. I like to, I want you guys a part of, I want to be a part of the family. I want you guys a part of, like, I want everyone to be together. 
I always felt like we had a good chemistry. I think probably for sure. I liked you guys. I was like, this is a good like in truly like when I first started dating like Moses, I thought it would be like a good idea because I was like, oh, then I can get close to you guys. I, f- I would have done this without if Moses was involved. I feel like why like from the beginning I wanted to come to like your house and be a part of your lives and. Since then, she has become my sister-in-law, soon to be, my partner in crime, and one of my best friends. Are you, Bye. I think that would be a perfect story arc where you just leave my ass behind. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I feel like you're going to leave my ass behind. I'm not going anywhere. I guarantee you that. I got no fucking ambition. You're my only best friend right now, so I'm one of yours. You're my only. This is everything. <laughs> I would never expect it to work, but I just feel like we have really good chemistry. I love it. I yeah. think like I snuck into this world somehow. Well, remember when we I snuck it through the back. I was like, here the I The back go. door tri- uh, through Moses. Moses is the back door. <laughs> <laughs> We're all good. I don't want to separate Moses from his family. I apologize. Like, I want him to be with his family. If you're quitting, I got to do. I gotta buy you guys a therapist or something. I got to make sure you guys get married because I don't want this to stop. Yeah, I'm worried about that they'll get get along too much. That's what destroys us, basically, is the existence of our parents in our head, their voice in our mind. Who's your favorite family member? You can talk right now, meeting. <laughs> I think Moses has a real trouble with commitment, though, because he's not really been in any long-term relationships since I've known him, which mm-hmm. has been a long time now. I I- he's just a very uh, independent person. Mm-hmm. And I do think he likes to spite <laughs> his family, which may explain you guys. Oh, I can see that for sure, yeah. You start, you're trying to steer stuff up. No, never. Great drama. I'm just kidding. Drama. I'm kidding. I think Moses <laughs> likes to... He likes to spite his, he's, he's often, his whole life has kind of been the pursuit of spiting and distancing himself from his family. I'll take it. I love it. You said I remind you of your dad and your mom, which is neither good things. Yeah. <laughs> the worst of both worlds. <laughs> he's very like that. Like anytime we've had a quarrel or beef, he's like, I'm on your side. I'm like, thank you. How do you feel dressed as your sister? I feel like she's dressed as me. You showed up in like an IDF uniform. <laughs> And a beret. Moses thought I looked cute, by the way. He said I looked very good. She said it was fucking mine. Would have to be awkward like my sister. Mm -mm -mm. He got way more awkward than your sister. What? Moses posted a picture on Instagram to his stories, correct me if I'm wrong, Mm -hmm. of of him and you in lingerie. Mm -hmm. And I guess... Well, Moses hasn't... Moses... I don't know if they know what you do for a living or yeah they have fun yeah and so and and I don't think that Moses and frankly Moses has done a terrible job of explaining his relationship as he always does as a kid I used to take white t-shirts and draw on them um so she's coming for your brand just stealing your ideas I mean he did it to to me and Ela he didn't explain anything and we're close with him I don't know what he has to hide from us because we're not judgmental I don't think you guys are close as you think but continue like I don't think there's a closeness okay go ahead and try to drive a wedge between me and my brother-in-law you freak (laughs) you know you're not close I mean we have a level of familiarity (laughs) we talk to Ela's brother like all the time he's over our house like every weekend for not, working on like the house and stuff, but not like, hey, like how's it going? Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna argue the closeness of my the, my relationship with you. You guys are not close. You're like not even fam. So annoying. Why do you keep saying that? He Except told yours. me. He says he's not close to you guys. I don't think. Maybe like, you need to fix that, not me. Well, he's denying it. He's saying you're lying. You said that when I said, "Did you tell me?" Because we don't talk like that. I was like, "All right." Because oh, he said that we want to talk about it. No, that's not what you said, Moses. Oh my God, see, I hate this. That's not what he said, but that's why, whatever. No, I swear. Oh my God, this is so annoying. But he's literally just, he literally said that. I wouldn't make that up. That's such a random thing to make up. But he, you know that. You know he's not close. He leaves all the time. He doesn't stick around. Like, he's not here to stay. He comes and pieces out. Okay. Don't worry. She's not going to drive a wedge between us. Moses is giving us the kibosh. He's your fucking family. Like, we should talk about it. If Moses and Ela 
you have, have a problem, problem with Moses too. And I it's, don't it's have a problem, problem with Moses. Problem it's not about you. Me. It's about it's between Ela and her brother. Like I just had an argument with my brother. I'm not ready to talk about it right now online. My relationship it's a with family Moses, issue. All it's a family issue. Okay. It's between I'll Moses and I'll Ela. Okay, cool. She said something like about them getting married, and she said something like, "Oh, his mom, his mom is not even invited." Yeah, and that really pissed me off, and I told it, and you gotta cut that. Like, and not his mom either. Clearly, it's, like, it's, and if it's not a joke, it's not a joke. You missed it, whatever. But it's like uh, that said it was one it's, time. It's, you guys cut it out, and you never addressed why you cut it out. And here I'm saying it here. I'm not hiding anything. That's what happened. That for me that crossed the line, and I got upset at my brother, not at her. My Moses doesn't like you, and you guys don't like him, and that's cool. I'm See, that's happy to that you can't. That's stupid. But it's true. It's so well. True. That's fucked up. Why is Trisha saying these things that she says you told him, and then you're denying it, but she's saying it's true, and she yeah. keeps saying it and saying and saying it, and then you're always saying, "Oh, she's just saying it for the show." It's like, well, that's fucking not true. No one told me anything. Moses didn't tell me. You didn't tell. How was I supposed to know? It was an offhanded Moses joke. Moses should I have made. told you because Ela kept talking to him about how. But he's such Be a liar. honest. Who's better, my family or your family? <laughs> Is when he like lies about it. He told that girl that he was DMing that, oh no, I don't do it. Her sister films her. My sister has never filmed me. Like, yes, we did fans, but you never filmed me. We saw it in the DMs. Well, he said that my sister did it. And I was like, don't say that, like putting in me. I'm like, my sister doesn't oh, do that. Yeah, that, that. So I was like, okay, just own up to it that you do it. Like, don't put it on my sister. It's a, it's a so this Disney trip was actually planned um, for my sister's birthday. It was me, my mom, and Moses. And Moses, Ethan, incidentally, invited himself to our family surprise. And we paid for him. Ethan and Ela did not pay for their VIP ticket to Disneyland, which is crazy because he takes that 5%. That's Trisha's sister made a TikTok saying that we didn't pay for Disneyland for her birthday. Okay, I begged Moses. I begged Moses. Begged him to let us pay. I it's don't have a problem with Moses. Problem. I don't. I sense it. Wait, Moses doesn't even have to tell me. He doesn't say anything, but I just know. Because oh, okay, you're so, so you're psychic. From the beginning, from the beginning of our relationship, you're just like, wow, I'm just so disappointed. This is Moses' fault. This is Moses' thing. Like, Literally like, did didn't do? say that about anything. You... Moses playing Trisha and us? Mm -hmm. And some weird... Mm -hmm. What's what's he trying to get at? I hate it. I hate everything about it. I don't know, dude. I don't, I like don't know. As a host, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Moses, let me ask you, what about her appearances on her show made you want to date her? D do you understand, Moses, that the girl you're apparently dating has sent me, personally me, tweeted at me pictures of her Do you understand what I you're doing? I think that's a problem. Do you, un do you even understand? She, the girl that you're apparently <laughs> dating, which you think is funny, wanted to have a thruple with your sister right. and your brother-in-law. True. Do you that's understand? what you're That's doing. That's a problem if I ever saw one. She had double Moses at one point. Just saying. I'm just upset. <laughs> the this show I don't like. To work out. This I don't like. I don't like it. What I disavow this. What is the nature this. of this relationship? Well, I disavow it. And you know, he said he was just going to get involved as a goof, but now all of a sudden there's no goof and he's just fucking her every day. <laughs> I don't need that shit in my life, bro. Just who ruined it? Was it Trisha or Moses? I personally blame Moses. I think, I think Moses is putting her up to it too. I think they think it's funny. He literally. What did I say said, about? What did I say about? He, you literally said that you're so pissed and it's Moses's fault. You know fault. what? Why do you always bring up family drama? Can't you just move on and talk you're about something else? You're the one who like, bring it up. I was just because you're it It's just because like, no, whatever. It's what? fine. You could talk about it. Go ahead, no, get no, it out no, in the open. <laughs> he told me he invented the photography that takes pictures of water. He told me that too. Do you think that's real? Yes, I'm the only Not one. anywhere else. <laughs> or, I mean, I, I don't think he invented the concept of photographing water, but I... No, no, I did. He's I the did. only one that tried Oh, you're it. the... F oh, well, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not a historian. What do I know? That's a big claim to say you invented <laughs> yeah, photographing water. Yeah, it's a big water. invention, too. Big claim to say you invented <laughs> yeah, photographing water. Yeah, it's a big water. invention, too. You have, have a, a problem. problem with Moses, too. Sometimes I worry about Moses. Cause he's just got this, he's so obsessed with water. I sense it. Wait, Moses doesn't even have to tell me. He doesn't say anything, but I just know. This is the monster that built H3H3 and yeah. the man who gave us this camera. Yeah. The man who made it all possible. Yeah, Holy Moses. So.
Holy Moses is Ela's brother. Well, listen, I love your brother. But, I love Moses. Yeah, He's a I great mean, guy. He's done a lot for us. I don't know. I don't, I'm just going to bite my tongue, I guess. I have a lot to say. I'm not going to. <laughs> but he has his own channel. And um, if this is uh, helping him also like reach, you know, new audience, then I'm happy for him. Cause channel cool. Water. That's the name yeah. of his channel. Channel Water. I was filming Eat this your morning, sandwich. So. Oh, okay. Channel water plug. Go find his video. What's it about? You have yeah, those? <laughs> so don't act like, oh, you have some special connection with Moses. Like, I know more than you do about everything. Like, I know everything about everything. I know more about Moses than anybody. Like, I know more about your family than anybody. I know more about his My family than family. every. Yeah, I know about I everything. don't know anything. That's what happens to most people. Their parents turn them into hateful, judgmental people. That's when that happens. And then we carry it through the rest of our life. And then we are attracted to what we hate and we become that. And more than that, then we actually marry somebody that is exactly what we hate because we're attracted to it. You said I remind you of your dad and your mom, which is neither good things. Yeah, it's <laughs> the worst of both worlds. <laughs> So don't let that happen to you. Don't let hate come into your heart and turn you into the thing that you hate. So watch, watch out for yourself because you're falling into a trap. You're falling into a place that you think you're doing something good, but actually hate is the one leading you. Hate is the one that's making you do those actions and you don't see it. You think, I'm the good guy here. I'm doing something good.